When you have only one option, what will you choose? Let's turn that right down. All right, welcome to Brian Spencer's Hacker Evolution Time Dimensions. This is from the Great Glory Days, September 14th, 2010, developed and published by Exosiphon Studios. Hacker Evolution is a hacking simulation game featuring unparalleled graphics and features. You play the role of a former intelligence agent specializing in computer security. When a chain of events sets off worldwide, when a cha what? When a chain of events sets off worldwide, leaving critical service disabled, you assume <laughs> this. I'm sorry. This is how it's written. All right. <laughs> when a chain of events sets off worldwide. Leaving critical service disabled, you assume the role a uh, computer... Oh, okay. There's Of is missing there. Okay. You assume the role of a computer hacker to find out what happened and attempt to stop it. When a stock market, a central bank's bank, satellite uplink, and transoceanic fiber optics links crash, you know this is more than a simple event. Something big is behind all this, and you have to figure out what it is. You hack into computers, you look for exploits and information, steal money to buy hardware upgrades in an attempt to put all the pieces of a big puzzle together. Set in a virtual operating system environment, the game is packed with all the features required to bring the hacker feeling and experience to every gamer. The concept behind Hacker Evolution is to create a game that challenges the gamer's intelligence, attention, and focus, creating a captivating mind game. Solve puzzles, examine codes, uh, code and bits of information to help you achieve your objectives. The game says to boast modding capability to allow the creation of custom levels. The included mod editor allows you to create new game levels easily, multiple interface skins, complex levels and gameplay to guarantee the best experience, optional freelance jobs to offer more variety, and complex command console with over 20 commands and tools. That's a lot. I don't even know if you ever need that many tools, but they're in the game. Um, one of the reasons I decided to move to this one is because um, the reviews. I'm not going to lie. The reviews kind of hooked me on it. Uh, I had to see for myself. Um, <laughs> um, here's one, for example, recommended. This is from uh, Neilbo85. This was posted. Oh, that's right. Steam doesn't do the whole when was it posted thing. Uh, you'll enjoy this game if you like movie-style hacking, the color yellow text-based games in high difficulty. It's not a game for the faint of hearted, Neilbo says. There's a very steep difficulty curve, and you will need to put some time in to understand things. Okay. Um, honestly, the description of the game that's in Steam uh, it doesn't thrill me. I don't like when a game says, uh, I tell you what our features are. Um, if you get this game, other players will have modded it to make it fun. But, um, yeah, no, it is what it is. Um, oh, and I have a friend who owns this game. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if they've ever played it, but I guess maybe we'll have something to talk about after this. All right, so uh, let's get this thing. Started. Please identify yourself. Choose your nickname. Is this supposed to be my... A hacker name because if so i've got just the one 
but it's my actual hacker alias, so you got to promise to keep it a secret. It is Burger Pirate. Accepted. Tutorial level will walk you through the basic concepts of the game. This level contains a few basic objectives that you must complete. Instructions and help will be given to you at each step. All systems operational. It is very yellow. Incoming transmission. Okay. Welcome to Hacker Evolution tutorial mission. You can press F1 for quick help, F2 for level objectives. F3 for level overview. Level overview. Okay. I'm pressing enter. It's not working. Incoming transmission. Okay, I can't get out of the... Okay, I had to press F3 again to make that go away. The first objective is to hack into corehackerevolution.com. For this, you can use the crack command. Get some crack at core... Evolution.com. Okay, you can abort any time to abort the. <laughs> you can abort any time to abort the crack. It doesn't say what to do to abort the crack. It says you can abort any time to abort the crack, but I guess they want me to type abort. Okay. Uh, do we have a command buffer? We do. System panel. Six characters left. Five characters left. Four. Level lost. Oh, your trace level. Yeah, there was a uh, one of the um, one of the reviews on the game said that your trace level increases no matter what you do, whether you're doing a good thing or a bad thing. Um, and so, um, you need to keep your eyes on that. Please identify yourself. I already did. It's Burger Pirate. Accepted. All systems operational. So, uh, it is a bit unfair that my trace level increased all Incoming the way. Incoming transmission. Um, before it even told me what to do about it. Uh, you know, as the game goes, but uh, where is my, oh, there's my trace level right there. Okay, so F3, F2, uh, crack that, obtain the $1,000 in your balance, download the connection configuration file from there, hack into hacker revolution. Incoming transmission. Okay, crack, order dot hacker evolution dot com. Okay, keeping an eye on the trace so we can abort if necessary. Keep my finger hovering over the abort command here. 50%. Oh, shit, that jumped up fast. Is it like a... You get one warning at 50%, that's it? Incoming transmission. Okay, my trace is at 65% after just that one. Your next objective is to get a thousand in your account balance, or you can obtain the money okay from the ATM server. Uh scan ATM Hacker Evolution to reveal it. But we're at 65% here for our trace. Seems unwise. Why is it giving me a tip? Okay. I don't want a tip. I would like to oh, upgrades idle. It hasn't told me yet how to do that, so I'm guessing it's not a problem so far. Incoming transmission. Okay, before attempting to connect to, you will notice that this host has an encryption key which you must decrypt before being able to connect. All right, I'm just following the directions. I don't want to run afoul of the game. It hasn't told me how to clear my trace yet, so. It apparently didn't take much deviating from the plan to cause a game over last time, so I'm trying to be a, trying to be a good this time. Complete. Incoming transmission. 
Okay. Excellent. You've now gained access to ACMHackerEvolution.com. Connect. Connecting. It's for 1,000. My trace is up to 71% and it's blinking, but I have not yet learned how to Incoming do anything about transmission. that. To retrieve the connection configuration file from ATM Hacker, I'll use the download command. So download. Connect. Config. Downloading. I'm at 74%. You can type ls to see a listing of all files. We apparently are in Alaska. Whereas Hacker Evolution is more of a Incoming transmission. Uh, heck, the FTP server is running on port 2.1 on Hacker Evolution. You can achieve this by using an exploit instead of the crack command. For this, connect to corehackerevolution.com. Um, Connecting. And download. Heft P the <laughs> the heft PD exploit. Downloading. Incoming transmission. Okay. Okay, we do at least have tab completion. Okay. Um. I did, didn't I? Disconnect before executing an exploit. Disconnect. Where am I? I'm at core. Okay, I can't change the size of the console window and i can't scroll up in the console window so i can't see the entire help file that seems like a major oversight like it's your help file you didn't check this at all before but whatever okay well what the hell unknown command Okay. Incoming transmission. Well, all right, that wasn't too difficult. Okay, your next goal, I'm up to 79% on my trace. Um, your next goal is to hack into the secheckevolution.com. You're going to simply use the crack command. You will get traced and lose the level. To increase your trace time, okay, here we go. You must use a bounced link. Click on all available hosts on the target map to add them to your bounced link, except your target. So. Okay. Then you can use the crack command to successfully complete this objective. So, I mean, obfuscating the origin of, um, traffic in order to uh, avoid detection is not 
it's not not a thing that is done in the real world. Um, I mean, that is the basic principle behind onion routing and virtual private networks and so on. Um, but in this case, it appears that we are using... Incoming transmission. Uh, at 94%. It appears, anyway, uh, that the exfiltration, because the little line went from our target all the way back to localhost, so that would be a problem. Next goal is to hack into the user hackerevolution.com server. Use the scan tool to reveal the host. Password protected seven characters, okay. Next, find the password for the host. You will find the password in the password file on Connect Core. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we can't CD. Why not? Why can't we CD? We can, we can list, but we can't change directory. Then why have a dot and a dot dot there? Okay. Not connected to a server? Why not? Oh, because it's in the bounce link list. Understood. Connecting. All right. Downloading. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Your next objective is to reduce your trace level below 50%. For this, you can use the kill trace command. You'll need $500 to reduce your trace level by 10%. If you need money, you can get it from atmhackerevolution.com. Okay. Wow, how much money do I have in my account? Does it say? Uh, I have $500. Oh, well, that's right, I withdrew 1000 Okay, well, I'm going to need more money if we're going to... Um, if we're gonna, this is annoying. I can't unselect it. Okay. No, no, don't pause. Okay. Was it transfer? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. I need to do this first. You have to disconnect first, and then you can do it. Connecting. I'm actually going to need 1,500 now that I think of it, because if we're going to only do 10% each time, and we need to get about 50, then yeah. Complete. And there we go. Now we're below 50%. Okay, we're below 50%. Uh, now what? Doesn't say. Now what? I'll get more money, I guess. Complete. Oh, level completed. Okay. All right. Well, that was the tutorial mission. Um, seems fine. Honestly, I don't. 
Well, okay. Um, so I do have a problem with the UI. It is very yellow. Um, found all servers in mobile, yes. Dynamic game difficulty. We level on in for 30 minutes, yes. I mean, it wasn't too difficult. Like with most hacking simulators, um, your name is Brian Spencer. Wait, I thought the game was made by Brian Spencer. It says Brian Spencer's Hacker Evolution. Okay. Um, All systems operational. Uh, okay, we, well, we, we did the tutorial level, but to be honest with you, I feel like I kind of get it. Um, it's not... So, okay, uh, as I was saying, in terms of the UI, yeah, this is not great. Um, the visual map, the diminutive console, the messages, and all this kind of stuff. In terms of the layout, it's fine. Um, it's just really boring to look at, and it, it's not very dynamic in terms of, like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't really feel like... I feel like I'm playing a mobile game, kind of, only, um, like, one that I wouldn't be able to play on mobile because it's all too small. Um, in terms of, uh, the, the, um, verisimilitude, uh, with, with actual penetration testing, um, you know, it's about par with some of the, the, the bad examples in the genre, which is to say that it, it's really a puzzle game with a hacking aesthetic, um, where you're, you're kind of using tools and commands that, you know, they're Linux commands, so they're hacker commands kind of a thing. It, 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 there was nothing about any of this that really had anything to do with anything we were just running a series of uh, of commands which i mean the real life analog would be uh, you know some utilities on the back end that do the cracking and stuff but we're not actually really involved with the process so it's it's not really engaging um I, know, I also see that the build on here looks like the game might be abandoned this is august 10th 2014 this was released in 2010 so this game might not even be updated anymore at least it doesn't seem to have been updated in quite some time so that's unfortunate never want to see that but uh i can see why hopefully the developer has moved on to bigger and better things so it makes sense um but uh you know i don't really have a lot of like good things to say about it in terms of being a hacking simulator it's just it's just another one along those lines of um trying to make it look cool um all sizzle no steak i guess is what i'm trying to say um you know where it's it's got some of the terminology, it's got some of the trappings, but you're not really doing anything, and there's not really any thought um, involved particularly. I don't understand uh, what the reviewers were saying as far as there being a steep learning curve. Um, it was super easy, but, you know, I guess I have experience with these games and with penetration testing, so maybe it makes it a little bit easier for me. I did fail out of the tutorial once because I went... It wasn't because I made a mistake. It was because I went off book. I did something a little bit different than what the game had asked me to do. And that's all it took, uh, which doesn't bode well for the rest of the game. So um, I guess if you're having trouble with the tutorial, all I can tell you is do exactly what it's telling you to do. If you do anything different, uh, then that's it. Uh, Michael, uh, 9, 1890, uh, left a review that said it's more of a typing game than a hacking simulator. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. It is, it is a, it is a typing simulator. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about it. I'm not going to come back for part two on this one. This is all you're going to get, I'm afraid. Uh, but it was nice to, to finally give it a day in court. So take care. We'll see you on the next one. I think next time I will pick one that has mostly positive reviews rather than mixed in this case just to act as a kind of palate cleanser. So see you there.